metamorphic rocks we are going to study about the third type of rock now metamorphic rocks in this lesson so we have learned about igneous rocks sedimentary rocks when these rocks undergo certain changes they become metamorphic rocks when you hear the word morph what do you understand morph means to change or to be transformed so that's called morphing so this is why let's start so because sedimentary and igneous rocks are undergoing some transformation that's why these rocks which are formed are called metamorphic rocks okay so let's study the definition of metamorphic rocks now the rocks okay we can say these rocks are formed by physical and chemical changes that occur in sedimentary and igneous rocks now what do you mean by physical and chemical changes now there are certain changes which happen and they can be reversed usually physical changes are amongst them chemical changes are those generally which cannot be reversed they are completely now the substance is completely changed so there are certain rocks which change partially not completely so that can be called as a physical change and there are certain rocks which completely change into new substance so that's called a chemical change okay so due to these physical and chemical changes happening in sedimentary and igneous rocks what are formed are called metamorphic rocks now there are many metamorphic rocks around us why because there are many sedimentary and igneous rocks around us so different types of rocks when they transform they form different types of metamorphic rocks let's learn about them now the first type of metamorphic rock is called marble how is marble formed when there are certain changes that happen in a sedimentary rock called limestone and marble is formed what is limestone it is a sedimentary rock formed by the deposition of animal skeleton and shells remember so after that limestone is formed and when there are changes in limestone marble is formed what is marble you must have seen we play with marbles too marbles is a marble is a smooth glassy substance so it is smooth and glassy okay where all do we use marble usually you will find the floorings and the walls many of the time the walls of the kitchen they are made up of marbles okay so mostly flooring constructions and even in even in certain ornaments because it is you know it is lustrous it shines ornaments okay next is slate slate is also made up of a uh, sedimentary rock called the shale how is shale formed by solidified clay right so even slate is formed by shale when there are changes coming in shale slate is formed okay how does slate look it looks like layers just like shale okay layers or you can say flat layers that is the structure where all do we use slate just like shale even slate is used in for making bricks and cement okay let's go to gneiss now okay gneiss is made by an igneous rock when there are changes occurring occurring in granite gneiss is formed okay how does gneiss look it looks it has a stripped or streaked look you can say streaked look now whenever we color our hair there are certain streaks that we color so other hair is black and there are streaks streaks of golden or other colors that we see so that's called streak look even gneiss has streak look which is made up of granite okay where all do we use gneiss it is used as building stone building stones entire wall can be made up of gneiss okay let's talk about quartzite now quartzite is made up of again a sedimentary rock called sandstone now sandstone is rich in mineral called quartz 
Quartz is a substance, a chemical which is found inside earth. So it's called a mineral. And sandstone has more of quartz in it. So that's why after sandstone undergoes cer certain changes, it converts into a metamorphic rock which is called quartzite. Okay. Quartzite is very hard rock. Okay. It's a very hard rock. Now because of this hardness, it is very difficult for quartzite to weather out. Weather out means like for example, we've just learned about sedimentary rocks that there are certain rock particles which weather out and deposit at some other place. Quartzite will not undergo that weathering. Okay. Then you have the uses of quartzite. Where all do we use quartzite? We use it in making ornaments also. And mostly very common use of quartzite is in glass and ceramic industries. So I hope you are clear with the third type of rock that is the metamorphic rock. So when different types of sedimentary and igneous rocks are transformed, they form different types of metamorphic rocks. We have learned about marble, slate, gneiss and quartzite. Here we come to the end of our session.